Hello, hello, my name is Josh Greider, and this is the Texas Music Scene with your host, Jackie. Country songs with a groove. I mean, come on, don't we all love those? Hell, most of our musical heroes did it. Willie, Waylon, Merle, Jerry Jeff. Well, here's New Mexico native turned Texas songwriter, Josh Greider, with a solid example of how it's done. This one's called Country's Coming Back. Country's Coming Back. Um, that is a tune that I wrote with uh, Tim Nichols and Jimmy Yeary. Country funk is my favorite thing ever. Like, just greasy that country funk stuff is so cool. So, uh, it's it's that little like Hank Jr. lick. Uh, if you slow it down, it's Country Boy Can't Survive is what that means. All right, secrets out. You know, it's just it's just fast, kind of falling into it. But then uh, Jimmy Yuri, the guy I wrote it with, he's a fantastic guitar player, and man, he just started doing that kind of slappy. It was like, oh yes, that is so cool. Um, and then and then that, and then the pace of that lyric was so fast, it was like, Dude, we'll just touch on the funk, man. We'll kind of get in and get out with it. But then let's 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 let it cook like those. You know, those killer 90s country tunes, you know? Just kind of that pressure cooker thing. And as you know, we've all listened to to the radio, or I guess some of us listen to the radio, and Top 40 Country Radio sort of took a little bit of a diversion for a while. They called it bro country. Uh, but lately, there's been this sort of resurgence and this buzz around Music Row, and everybody's saying, country's coming back, country's coming back. And, you know, Cody Johnson getting signed, and, you know, Randall King, Park McCollum, all these kind of these Texas guys. Texas is having like this little moment, which is really cool. Um, but it's funny to hear people say country's coming back because down here, it never went anywhere. <laughs> like, like we've been listening to country music from the get-go. And I, I mean, I have anything that's ever been a good song for me or done anything, uh, you know, commercially for me is country music. I mean, Smallest Town on Earth and One Night Taco Stand and this stuff, you know, it's it's country, you know? So it's just, it tickles me when when people, you know, like a lot younger, they're fresh out of college and, and you hear this buzz of, hey, country's coming back, you know? It's like, <laughs> it didn't go anywhere. Country's been there the whole time and we've been getting it. And I think that state of country music is alive and well. It might not have been on top 40 radio as much as we wanted there for a minute, but. But I do, man. I think it's coming back. And, and, and even if it's not to top 40 radio, and it's everywhere. You just ask Mike and the Moon Pies and, I mean, Randy, there's been a Phil and Randy Rogers band since the start, and Fowler and everybody. I mean, we, we play country music down here, so I'm not, I'm not worried about the state of country music. And that song is just sort of my, my take on that. You know, I'm no spring chicken anymore. I, I remember the 90s. That's, that was my first taste of country growing up in New Mexico was that I mean, it was what was on the radio. There was no underground Texas Red Dirt. I didn't know anything about that. I was watching Garth Brooks fly through Texas Stadium. My first concert was Alan Jackson and all that. So, uh, yeah, we, we were just sitting around and kind of laughing about that. And, you know, there's a whole, this younger generation coming up who's discovering all that 90s country because it's not in their wheelhouse. Like, yeah, it is old country to to a certain segment, you know, and that's that's always funny when you sit with somebody. I, I, I remember writing with a, a young artist in Nashville and they go, have you heard The Chair by George Strait? I said, I have. And they're like, that song is incredible. And I'm like, it is, <laughs> you know? But that's not their fault. Like they were, they were, they were pretty young, you know? And, and they're getting into it and they love it, you know? And so there is that element of like, you know, country music, have you heard this? It's like, yes, I've heard this. We've all heard this, we've been hearing it. Come down to Texas, give a listen. So anyway, that's, that's more or less country's coming back. Back in the 90s, they had a jukebox. Man, it was fiddling, fiddle steel nonstop. Down at the honky tonk, it was a different scene. No IPAs, no skinny jeans. Things are in, then they're out. But the thing that the cool kids are all saying now is country's coming back. Buy some boots and get ahead. Play a little tattoo chain and some boots. Good and boogie woogie, better learn it to stay. Man, I've been rocking 
Working as a look since way back I've seen George Strait I got the box set It's still my Friday night Get right soundtrack The sour roll My way of life Welcome to the party I've been here the whole time Your country's coming back Buy some boots and get ahead Play a little Chattahoochee Man some boots Good and boogie Well you better learn to step Cause the country's coming back I was country when it was And I was country when it wasn't Take a look down the road Man, they can see what's coming Boy, this country's coming back Buy some boots and get a hat Play a little Chattahoochee Man, some boots, scoot and boogie Well, you better learn it to step Cause the country's coming back When it's hard not to laugh When they say country's coming back Cause I never even knew it lived Well, they say country's coming back But I never even knew it lived